Hi there, my name is Nathan Kordiaka, and in this notebook we'll be learning about live streaming. Streaming really is just the constant acquisition of multimedia by and transfer to an end user by a provider. So it refers to the delivery method of the content, how you are attaining that media. So for example, when downloading something like a music album, it may take five hours or five minutes, depending on your connection speed and web traffic. Streaming is basically in real time. So generally a 30 minute video will stream in roughly 30 minutes. Now that being said, you do have to take into account any delays that can happen, like buffering, if you have too slow of an internet connection for the quality of video you're attempting to stream. So let's take a look at a basic technical workflow and how live streaming actually works. Your workflow starts with a video source. So this could be a single camera or a video switcher if you're dealing with multiple cameras. Depending on the workflow you've chosen to go with, that video signal will go into an interface and then into your encoder. We'll talk more about encoders later, but an inexpensive way to encode is by using encoding software on a computer. The encoder will package the video signal in a way that can be sent to your content delivery network, or CDN for short who will then deliver and scale that signal for however many viewers are calling for that content through a video player. Now, a workflow can be much more complicated than that, but that's a basic setup to live stream content to multiple viewers from all over the world. In the next few chapters, we'll be looking at interfaces, encoders, and CDNs.